I think I'm addicted to coffee now. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Chikamoya and thank you for joining me once again. When I first arrived in Finland, I hated it immediately. <laughs> I wanted to get back on the plane and go back to South Africa. But now, I can't imagine living anywhere else. In fact, I haven't told myself if I ever got super famous or I became a, a celebrity or a famous musician or something, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I would still want Finland to be my base. So what happened? <laughs> Before we get started on this video, I just want to thank you for enjoying my last few videos. You guys seem to be enjoying hearing me talk, <laughs> which is cool, I guess. So I really appreciate it. When we reach 2000 subscribers, I will be going out and doing an ice swim. Why don't you give this channel a like and a subscription? I would appreciate it. And while you're at it, just hit the bell icon. It lets you know as soon as I get another video out. There are mainly three massive reasons that caused me to hate Finland when I first arrived. It made living here basically a living hell for me until I changed my mindset and stopped being the victim. I hated everything. So I'm going to go through these three different things in no particular order. Let me know what you guys think. You see, I went from being the center of conversation. I went from being the one who would be speaking all the time. I went from that to being the silent person in the conversation because I didn't understand what people were saying. Yes, in certain friend groups or in certain groups I hung out with, people tried to speak to me in English, but more often than not, I would be sitting down and people would be speaking to each other in Finnish, obviously an incredibly interesting conversation, and I would just be sitting there not having anything to say. And it wasn't even only being around people that I sort of know who are speaking in Finnish that was bothering me. It was in public places too, a restaurant or in a bar or in public transport and hearing people speak and not having a clue what they're saying. That sort of thing, it makes you feel invisible. That very quickly began to play on my emotions. When you're stuck in that sort of space, you feel really lonely and I hated it. I hated every moment of it. And could certain people have, you know, been a little bit more considerate? Yes, but that still doesn't change the fact that I was caught up in this mental state that was pretty unhealthy, I would say. It was the small things that hurt the most or that made me feel the most isolated. It was going into a store and trying to find out which one is milk and which one is cream and not understanding which is which. <laughs> and this was in the very beginning. I felt really bitter about it. That feeling slowly began to change the more I changed my outlook. I began to stop expecting the world outside of me to be a certain way for me to be happy. So instead of sitting there feeling sorry for myself, how hard life was living in a new country that speaks a different language, I began to make conversation. So I'd be around people who are speaking Finnish, for example, and I'll get into the conversation and I'll ask a question or I would be proactive in trying to make myself heard. <laughs> I was tired of being quiet and I realized the more I began to do that, it wasn't even the case that people didn't want to speak to me in English. It was just some people here are maybe a bit shy of trying to start a conversation in English. But if you go out and you do your thing, then people respond to you. In time, I began to see a lot more success and that feeling of feeling invisible, feeling isolated, closed off alone in my own head, it began to disappear a little bit. That's how I dealt with my isolation. I became proactive and I went out and I grabbed the bull by the horns and I, I made shit happen, basically. <laughs> And the more I did this, the more I was proactive and the more I stopped thinking of myself as a victim, the more I began to enjoy and appreciate the uniqueness of being here, the uniqueness of the people here, 
how people might be a little bit more reserved but I was still able to have fantastic conversations with people and make great friends so that negative started to change slowly until it became a positive the reason why I wasn't allowed to work for the first six months was because I was waiting for papers to arrive and perhaps at some point I'll get into all of that but basically the Finnish government said I have to sit and wait. That was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. You see back in South Africa music was my main source of income. I did a few other things here and there but I performed at different festivals and around the country and that's how I survived and I loved that sort of freedom it gave me and I loved being up on stage and I liked knowing that I can do a whole bunch of other stuff if I wanted to but all of that was stopped. So here I am in a new country and I'm almost completely broke. All the money that I'd seemingly saved up just evaporated. <laughs> it literally felt like I just breathed the air here in Finland and all my money was like, okay, bye. <laughs> the truth of the matter was, is that I had no money. I had nothing to do. So it was really depressing. I was just bemoaning my situation. Oh no, I got no money and I'm not allowed to work. I felt really terrible about myself because with work comes a whole bunch of different opportunities. You get to meet new people. You get to see a different side of the country that you're in. My first step in finding some sort of peace was being able to focus on the things that I could control. So I spent a bit of time trying to develop some skills. I started learning how to do a bunch of video editing. I started practicing how to do things I couldn't do on the guitar before. I had a bit of a laser focus on the things that I could do right now. And a lot of those things kept me busy. I kept my eye out for different types of jobs I would want to do, looking at different venues I want to start performing at. I started to send emails and stuff in preparation of the time when I was allowed to start working. When that letter came through that said that I can now work, I hit the ground running. Because I'd already done so much research in different places, different sort of jobs, I just went out and I did everything. I did whatever job I could lay my hands on. I just wanted the feeling of doing something and earning money for it. Being able to work made me see a completely different side of Finland. The work environment of Finland, like every other country, is the engine room of the country. That's how the country is able to continue working. Being able to see that gave me a newfound respect for workers here in Finland. The working world is a space where you're respected for the things that you're able to do. It doesn't matter where you're from. As long as you do your work, then that's completely chill. And it doesn't matter what work you do. If you're able to get your paycheck, then hey, all power to you. So that was really incredible to see. I got a newfound respect from the biggest business person to a dishwasher in a small restaurant. It didn't matter to me anymore. It was like, yo, you're doing what you're doing and it's awesome. Not everyone loves the work that they do. The fact is they still do it regardless. And for me, that was enough to be like, yo, I respect you for that. Simply moving to a new city can be really jarring, but moving to a new country, it literally turns your whole life upside down. And it's quite crazy how external things, physical things outside of us feel like they define us in certain ways. Like you don't know how important it is to know where you are, to know where the street goes to, to know where your, your favorite pub is until you move to a place where all of that is taken away from you. That was just mentally really stressful. Small things like that are the things that you miss the most. And oh, I missed home badly. For a bit of time, I walked around with a split mind. Part of me looked around and saw hey, things work really well here. People seem to be really chilled and kind. Transport works well. There's not much crime. The system works really well here. And that part of me was grateful. The other side of my mind consistently romanticized about where I came from. 
it missed home real bad but it kept comparing home to where I was right now which is understandable but it's also real confusing where you come from is where all your emotions have been for most of your life so you carry all that around and to compare that the wealth of memories and all that sort of stuff to a new place it's always going to be off balance that's how I walked around for a while I couldn't accept Finland as home because I kept thinking about South Africa where I came from my heart still belonged to what I called home back then and I couldn't let go I was caught up in this mental place and my feelings toward Finland were really negative and most of the time I just thought hey I'm here temporarily about a year ago myself and my lady decided to go visit my parents and visit some of my friends back in South Africa and that was the craziest experience because we arrived all right and from the moment we arrived I wanted to get back on the plane to come back to Finland not because anything was bad there or anything but I immediately started missing this place so I pushed that all down and I was like no I'm just going to enjoy my time here and that's it I, I wanted to come back so I am back now but as the weeks went on by I realized the truth and the truth was scary and exciting at the same time and the truth was South Africa was no longer my home home was Finland as crazy as that sounded to me and my heart was truly in Finland and I could try push that down as much as I could but I would keep being in this weird mental space until I accepted that and so after an amazing time in South Africa which it's still incredible getting on that plane was a breath of fresh air and I was really happy to be coming back we arrived and it was dark and gray <laughs> but it still felt like home it was real interesting to finally admit to myself that I'd found a new home <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching this guys I really appreciate it I just felt that it would be good for you to know where I was mentally in terms of accepting Finland as home and falling in love with this place and really believing in what Finland is that is how I went from hating Finland to absolutely loving it. I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like and comment some of your ideas and thoughts. I hope you have a lovely day, evening or wherever you are. Be safe. Cheers for now. Bye.